hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial where we are going to show you how to run coarse grain simulations for a system which has got both protein and ligand in the previous video we have shown how to convert the all atom protein model to coarse grain model and this is the continued section of it in step 1 we will be telling you how we perform pre-processing of protein in this step we will be removing the heteroatoms in proteins and if necessary the other unwanted chains. We will use the grep command to execute this. All the other details on how to find the files, how to install Gromax and the DSSP executable file, please watch the first video which is provided in the description. Here as you can see we have successfully pre-processed our protein and in the second step we are going to find the secondary structure of the protein which will be required in step 3. This step requires the DSSP tool whose installation is already provided in the other video. The second line in the SSD file which has been created after you run the command contains the secondary structure of protein. Having copied it, we move on to step 3 where we martinize all atom model of the protein to the coarse grain model. In this step, we will use the martinize 2 tool to convert the all atom model to the coarse grain model and this is the command which we are going to use we are using an elastic models and once we run the command the files generated will be shown in the folder and the terminal Moving on to the next step where we add where we add water and ions using a script called insane.py. After adding the solvent molecules and the ions, we copy the number of water and ions without their respective signs into the topology file. We will open the topology file. And we are adding the number of atoms and removing the signs of the ions. We also mention the ions that are required from Martini version 3 using the Martini 3 force fields and also add the location name of the ITP file.
the information regarding both solvents, ions and the force fields is now added into the topology file. Moving on to the next step where we insert the ligand molecule into the system. In this case, we have used canamycin, which is amino glycoside and can bind to AAC2. Canamycin has already been parameterized and its parameterization is not in the scope of this tutorial. Hence, this is just giving you the command of that we use. In this process, we are removing one of the amino acids with canamycin. We save the topology file. And rename it. Now the system contains both the protein and the ligand. Moving on to the next step is where we perform energy minimization. We will be performing energy minimization for 100 steps in the demo and depending on the requirement of your project, you can increase it. So this is the command for energy minimization. As you can see, energy minimization has successfully run and we are moving to the next step of equilibration. Here we are going to run the NPT equilibration for 100 picoseconds. This is not enough in a real case scenario, but this is just for the sake of demonstration. Users can also run NVT equilibration based on their requirement whose details are provided in video 1. So moving ahead, we are going to perform a step 8 which is the production run. And in our demo video, we are going to run for 2 nanoseconds. But the users can run it for more number of nanoseconds or microseconds based on the requirement. Once the production run is complete, the other steps regarding analysis and visualizing the plots is provided in the first part of the video whose description is there in whose link is provided in the description of this video.
as you can see the simulation has successfully run thanks for watching the video where we are converting the all atom model of the protein to the coarse grain model inserting the ligand and performing simulation i would like to repeat again if you want to know the next step of analysis and plotting the graphs please watch the part 1 of this video whose link is provided in the description thank you please share